Wigwam Bam was part of the band's gradual transition to a harder sound. Wigwam Bam was <laughs> not an exactly a uh, a, 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 a land. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the right word for it, but to, it wasn't uh, exactly a milestone in musical history. Um, but they played it themselves, and they played it their way, and. Um, they were so mad at me then um, for not letting them play. It was like having four wild horses or dogs and then opening the gate and letting them go. And they just wanted to show you how they could run and what they could do. And, uh, you know, and it was, if you like, it was their freedom. It was, they, they, they could express themselves. And they were still pretty mad at me. Um, and it showed in their records, and and I and, and suddenly we had this new energy, because we grand band from the energy level, and a record energy level is so important, especially when you're into pop and then into power pop and into glam rock, and suddenly the level took off like this. It was like a plane, actually climbing. It they 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 were showing me they had wings, they were showing me, and it was great because. You can't buy that. You can't say, you know, come on then, make me mad. You know, I made them mad and they were just showing me what they could do. And they made records and I, it was, it was, they, were, they were electrifying, you know. All you can do is keep saying to the, the powers that be, if you're going to write us something, write us something that we are going to be able to hold our heads up and go, wow, this is so, so great. We had a, a serious game plan for them because um, I believe the Beatles had a game plan and they would always have material that they wouldn't use immediately because it would get in the way of, of the progression um, of their careers. In other words, they'd have a song that they, they wouldn't come with for two or three years because it didn't fit with their growth yet. It was too soon. And I, 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 I could see at least a 10 year career with Sweet and then it was a bit grey but they could go on and become a stadium band which is something that I, I wanted to go on and do. I think the game plan started to emerge with Little Willie when it got a bit harder um, and then Wigwam Bam, those two songs were, were rockier and harder um, and I think they emerged as Mike and I hung out with the band uh, socially and we parted with the band and we began to get into their psyche and into their, their minds, if you like, and, 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 and understood much more about them uh, and understood that these guys weren't really a bubblegum band. An unmistakable element of the Sweets records is their energy. The band's enthusiasm for their music was never questioned. You never say to, to, to Sweet, I need more energy in this. You're not giving me enough. Far from it. They would, they would always give me loads. It doesn't ma matter what Mike and I or Phil came up with. They had to translate it. And they had this huge musical energy. 